May God bless you all. Today, as I was ministering to people in hospital, on my way to the chaplain's quarters, I met an interesting couple on the way. This couple I knew for quite some time, and uh, a word after a word, and we held a very interesting discussion. At one point, the woman told me, I have been to hospital for several days. I have had around 18 operations in all these years, and I learned that life is an open passport. To be honest with you, when I heard this beautiful expression, I didn't resist the temptation, but took out a piece of paper and wrote down this very powerful phrase, life is an open book. I realized how much this phrase is pregnant with meaning and with wisdom, God's wisdom. Why? First of all, life is an open passport because this passport has a special opening. First of all, it is opened once and for all. Once a human life has started on, on earth, the Lord God, even according to the Bible, and according also to uh, Umani Generis of Pius XII, and also the teaching of the Church, God infuses in that person a soul. And this soul has a beginning, but doesn't have an end. So that soul, from that moment onwards, lives forever. Whatever the destiny it chooses will be. Also, this soul, eh, in this sense life, is an open passport because normally our passport has have an expiry date, our passports. But as you know, life hasn't got an expiry date. But life is once and for all. It starts from this world and continues in heaven. Life is an open passport because in it we have a lot of opportunities that God gives us to let him be our Lord and our God. Normally a passport is limited in the sense that you can put so much stamps on it. I remember once one person telling me that he has been in many places so he had to do another passport because his passport is filled with stamps also life is an open passport because God not only gives us a lot of opportunities to be close to him to choose him as our God but also in a way, in this passport, there are the good seed and the bad seed. Normally, if you go to certain countries, if you carry a passport of another country, you won't be allowed. Such is the policy, for instance, of the Israeli government. If you don't have the... if you have a stamp from Arabic country, you are not allowed on your passport, you are not allowed to enter Israel. That obviously is the law of that country. Now even in our life, there is also that element too. That is, the devil's stamp cannot stand with God's stamp. And God's stamp cannot stay with the devil's stamp. And these stamps are already printed in our lives. So we are called to let God erase the devil's stamp and let his imprint reform our life. 
But contrary to the case, if we decide, for instance, to go to Israel, but we have a, an Arabic stamp on our passport and we are called to do another passport to enter this country, God won't tell us you have to throw away your life. No, but he tells us restore your life. So God is there to help us rebuild our life once again. He is there to help us to literally let our life be an open book to him and also to other people a book of love a book of joy a book of peace normally when one have a look at the passport one can understand where that person has been so far and one can get a clue that the person who's holding the passport has traveled a lot of countries and met a lot of people may our life too bears different stamps of people people who are suffering can leave a stamp on our life people who have been betrayed people who are sick people who have no one to hear to listen to their problems people who have no one to pray with them people who have no one to show them compassion people who are imprisoned or in hospitals and have no one to visit them may these people le leave their stamp on our passports and in so doing if our life passport bears a lot of stamps of people who are sick who are suffering who are excluded when we go to God the controller uh, the passport controller well, he, when we, he will open our passport, he will get the fragrance of compassion. My dear brothers and sisters, may our life be an open passport of compassion for others. Because in so doing, we will be showing compassion to Jesus himself. And Jesus will show us compassion because we will be open to his compassion to his forgiveness so father god in jesus name in jesus blood and the holy spirit makes us make us people of compassion of love of joy may life make make our life an open passport of love in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen